Welcome to Sports Talk with Z. Today I will be talking about sports like always. Just I need to open up with one special thing. If you like Utah, you know who Ty Jordan is. And well, breaking news, Ty Jordan accidentally shot himself and died. So get well let me see back up with his mom. Wherever he is, up in heaven. Um, but yeah, just that's really sad for him and the friends and the players. And so yeah, well now I'm gonna open up with Christmas Day basketball. That was entertaining, but I have something to tell you guys. Everybody got blown out. Like the Heat blew the the Pelicans out. The 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 Bucks blew the Warriors out. The Clippers blew the the um, Nuggets out. It was just crazy. Um, but yeah, I think and looking at it, I think Milwaukee. If you saw the article, what Giannis said, he he, he thinks they're gonna be good, like they always are, and I think the Bucks are gonna be good too. And so yeah. Sorry. Um, and then I think Golden State's looking hard right now. They're not doing well. Denver's looking hard without all... Like, they lost Mason Plumley. They lost Jeremy Grant, who was two good players for them in the playoffs. And, yeah, and uh, looking at it, like, there's a lot of good teams out there, and they're going to be good. There's going to be a lot of good teams. And it's gonna, th this year's a hard year, and yeah. Well, I was watching this video of this guy ranking his top 36 team players in the NBA. And can you believe that Jamal Murray, just because of how good he was, is in front of Jason Tatum and Kyrie Irving in his top 36 players? Can you believe that? Crazy, and he had him behind, in front of Donovan Mitchell, Jason Tatum, Zion Williamson, um, Kyrie Irving, Trey Young, all these other better point guards, and it just blows my mind. But yeah, that's how it's, that's how people do it, and so, um, um, well. Christmas Day was an awesome day for the NBA, for everybody. Hope you guys had a great Christmas. I, I had a good one. And, yeah. So, the NCAA, obviously, has their bowl games. And their bowl games look pretty good. Yesterday, Marshall versus Buffalo, I saw it was a pretty good game. I didn't see who won. But it looked pretty, it looked pretty good how both teams played. And then, um... How uh, both teams played was a special performance. And then, like, just say, like, Buffalo wins. That means they're pretty good. And I cannot believe that um, ESPN, they said that, uh, that Marshall had, like, a 95% chance to go undefeated. And look what happened. Rice beat them. All these other bad teams beat them. And it's just crazy to me. It's so crazy. The one the one bowl game that I'm looking at, though, is the Oregon-Iowa State bowl game. That one's going to be a good one. I do not know why USC isn't getting a bowl game. They, they were pretty good. They just choked playing against Oregon. So, I was, I'm so confused, because Colorado got the Vermo Alamo. Does that, like, did, like, USC not get their bowl game, or was the conference championship their bowl game? Who knows? But, like, if you're looking at it, USC, they, they, they were good in the regular season because they weren't playing good teams. So... I could see why the committee didn't put them in a bowl game or that stuff. Like, or they just probably opted out or something like that. It's probably one of those two, but I'm not sure. And then 
I was watching this video today of this lady who was on, um, who was, who was reacting to the, for just a short clip of the college football playoff ranking thing, when, when, like, Alabama won, Clemson 2, Ohio State 3, she's like, oh, gosh, no, gosh, no, gosh, no, and she was so, she was like, oh, we're gonna lose because we're playing with Alabama, but, like, they played the true Clemson, so I could see why they lost, because they they're gun they played the true Clemson, not the like um, freshman quarterback Clemson. They played Trevor Lawrence, who's going to be number one to either Jacksonville or to uh, New York. Because his, obviously, you saw the Rams. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. The Rams lost to the to um to them to the Jets, and so. Honestly, if I was the Jets, I'd lose the whole season. But I don't think that's legal because, like, in the NBA, you would lose. Um, the NB the Seventy Sixers, they tried losing, um, so much games, and that that did that wasn't. And the league commissioner was just like, nope, that can't happen. So they lost like a lot of their because they're trying to get the number one pick. And so they, and so the commissioner's like, nope, we're, we're, you, you lost your chances of getting that number one pick. And I think they were banned from getting that number one pick for, um, that year. So, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. So good for the Jets, good for them. So they could get just probably one win. And, Next year, hopefully, they're better with Trevor Lawrence and trade Sam Darnold. Well, honestly, um, I think this. My dad told me this when I was trying to rebuild the Jets. He said that if the Jets is Jets offensive line was better, I think Sam Darnold would be good too because Sam Darnold was incredible in college, really good, and he in the NFL right now. He's not doing good. Like, Kyler Murray, he's doing good. Um, Baker Mayfield, he's doing good. Sorry for camera issues. Um, and all that stuff. So, yeah. Okay, I'm going to talk about the NFL playoffs now. The NFL playoffs, pretty darn good. AFC looking really tough. NFC, they're having a struggle up there in the north. Like, the Saints, I think the Saints are in the NFC. The the um, Seahawks, the Rams, they're all looking good, but not Super Bowl worthy. Well, like maybe if they if the if they're so bad, like, and well, they're not that bad. They're just like. Oh, okay. okay, one second. I'm going to fix this. This does not do anything anymore. Okay. And so, yeah, like, the NFC, I think it's going to be like, um, I think the Seahawks or the Rams are going to go to the um, the Super Bowl or probably the Saints. Because I think, I, I'm really, I'm a, I think I'm 100% sure that the Saints are in the NFC, and then I think it's either gonna, uh, it's either gonna be the Bills or the Ch Chiefs versus the Seahawks. Seahawks or um, sorry, Seahawks or Seahawks or the Rams or the Saints, and so yeah, and it's gonna be pretty tough because the NFC is just not good, like. I cannot believe the NFC East, though. The NFC East is probably the worst division in NFL history. NFL history, yeah. Because they have the 5-10 and, ten, five and ten New York um, Giants, 5-10 uh, and ten, uh, Cowboys, a 4-9-1 uh, uh, Eagles, and... 
Um, can't remember the other team. But they're all like so close. And it's hard because they're all crappy. But once once the um once the Giants get Saquon Barkley back, who they'd be looking nice. They'd be looking nice with they they just signed an extension with their quarterback. They they're gonna look nice in the future with their number four overall pick, that offensive lineman from Georgia, I think. Then they got like then they got say they're getting Saquon Barkley back and all that stuff. So I'm really excited when when that team's going to become good. I'm excited when all the teams are going to become good and then it's going to be really hard for the NFL to have like all the the Super Bowl. So, yeah. Well, I have a shorter show today. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe for more content. We're trying to hit 100 subs and more and and if you know anybody that likes sports, share this um share this channel with to them. Thanks. Bye.